All right, eerie. Let's see if we can find some answers at all. My door is still closed, so that that part stayed the same. But things I picked up came back to where they were. Weird. The stuff I picked up moved. Was there a coffee cup last time? Here's the question, did anything change? Do I have an inventory? Whoop. Pressed I to open my inventory and this thing went into my eye. That's a nightmare. So my inventory is empty now. All the things I picked up yesterday are gone. How about in here? That stuff went back. Do I always have a bag? We've established now that there's something that can replace other things, which is the concern. Because that coffee cup turned into a monster, so... What's stopping something in this room from being like that? Does anything stand out as different? Hands on electronics. The game actually explains that I'll need a special type of uh, strength in order to pick up this couch if I want to. How is my- my back door's jammed? How'd I goof that one up? Uh, call a janitor, someone. You don't want don't you want to have access to your own balcony? Six emails now. Danger, leave now, EOM. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave now. Do that. And she's really good at putting clothes on. We'll just hang out here in my happy place. Ah. Corpse. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, well, that doesn't look good at all. Look at him. So whatever happened to that one guy probably wasn't a dream. Cause it seems to have happened to this guy, too. Got myself a wrench. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. I'm sorry, who just talked to me? Let's review their name real quick. Audio logs, email. Those messages are from January. We don't have audio logs yet, so that's not in here yet. Just noticing this person's corpse is Patricia Varma, and that doesn't seem like a, a woman's body. And carry bodies? Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, now you're not reaching out desperately, I suppose. There you go. Now you can relax. That's Patricia? Oh, no, there, there's boobs. I guess. The head's just so disfigured that it looks like an old man. Hey, physics! That's neat. It's oddly satisfying to throw something around that has a light sticking out of it. Whoa! My character has an arm. Okay, that's my stamina bar. So I don't really lose stamina correctly if I don't hit something. The moment I hit something, it goes away for a while. Alright, we have a stamina meter in this game. Encouraging. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's neat. Now I just want to know what you can hit in this game. Just to be a general terrible person. Oh, that's one of the lights I just threw, isn't it? It was supposed to be up on the wall. Can I inspect you at all? Just 
destroy the pipes of this place. <laughs> I'm looking for any weird details. Like a surprise coffee cup? Die, coffee cup. I don't trust you anymore. You can grab the same things again. And break the window. Okay. 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 So, it would appear that this entire cityscape is totally fake somehow, and that that's what's actually in the next room, is that we're not in a tower, we're somewhere else. But also, this is weirdly re it's this is more related to the original prey than i expected the original prey was one of the first video games i saw that had portals in it if i remember correctly in fact i think it might have even come out a year before portal which might have been an interesting thing and here we have a straight up portal being used in a video game because that's a 3d envi ah that's a 3d environment and that's a 3d environment both in front of me at the same time so that's a trip too Nice effects there. It's still rendering the 3D environment behind it, even at this point, which is amusing. He's got a great reach. Okay, so this is what's been behind... They've been watching me sleep with cameras, which is creepy. They've had lighting coming in through the window to simulate the, the daylight. That's a trip in its own right. I'm gonna close the bathroom door. And now my simulation becomes a reality point. Oh, that's turns out turns out it's heavy and kind of hard to throw. Physics. Okay. So what happened before, and I almost commented this on, on this at the time, but I didn't really get around to it. Is that I got in an elevator last time, and I was going to comment on like the. Oop. The apartment complex is locked down. Try the balcony. You already did that, January. I just wanted to mention that like. I had the thought about how video games fake elevators all the time, because I was going in an elevator and a number just changes to indicate that you're changing floors and that's it. But there's no actual indication, there's no way of telling that you're actually moving in the elevator, basically. Uh, and usually they're lying, they're like, oh you changed 20 floors and you probably changed one floor, or maybe they, even, they, maybe they even just deleted the floor outside and loaded in a new one. That type of observation becomes all the more real when this, that didn't swing. When this turns out to be the reality. <laughs> turns out that would have been a good comment to get out, because that's exactly where the work- this game seems to be going. Is the idea that that kind of thing is completely fake. How much can I mess this thing up? Just the once? Kind of just switches to a given texture. Well, this is alarming, because this looks a lot like that lab where the monster was. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. If I'm in the same lab where the monster was, that means that I should be in danger then. Because while they... They made a big show of me going across some great big zone... When I flew through the sky, it would ap it'd appear that I was just going to somewhere else in the same building. Which would mean... That everything that's dangerous is not across the city, but like right here with me. And I've been here the whole time, because there is no city apparently. That is some heavy mail. Nice creepy music. Activity log. Sleeping. Wakes up and turns off the alarm. Checks transcribe. On computer various tasks. Takes shower. Puts on uniform. Exits apartment. The schedule I follow. Is my brother even my brother? Or is that fake too? Daily tests. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hide our, hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. This is from Sylvain Bellamy to Evelyn McCarthy. So Bellamy we now know is dead. 
So this seems to indicate that both Alex and Morgan are real people, and I'm Morgan, and that we were, uh, we volunteered for this, or like I was up, up for this on purpose. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ab ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. Note about this morning from Alex Yu to Neuromod Division. All I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Alazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He is currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project, Alex Yu. So I assume Alex is genuinely my brother. It would appear that Alex is a liar. <laughs> I. It does not seem that Mr. Bellamy uh, was even remotely okay. He seemed to have already been corpsified immediately and is likely already dead. And they seem to be pacifying people. Utilities. Audio events. Refer to test. Uh, refer to test run program for timing of audio events. Note: pigeon visuals have been disabled due to glitch in the render data. So everything in the window was being, the fake simulation window has been run through here. The wake up call, the helicopter arrival, and the pigeon test. I suppose with the window blasted, I can't really help out. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay. So Alex isn't even here to greet me in the morning every time on her own sister's... On his own sister's, uh, experiment thing. Uh, even that's a recording. Die, paper. Wow. He really hates paper. Ooh. Anything in there? Nope. Ah. More range with that one. The physics is satisfying in this game for some reason. Simulation briefing and observation are both right. Left is storage. I should poke around for storage stuff if I can. Some stuff I could work with. Possible crafting. Fuck up that box. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulations in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. A reminders, B reminders. Always reset the position of stage props and apartment after each test. They didn't reset my door. Oh, slip up Arcane Studios. Burn. Replacement for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. Helicopter ride looking glass sequence should be only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. So there's just like a fake helicopter soundstage screen? Oh, well, that's creepy. Getting into my own room. What if I threw something really hard against the window and it broke and it just, just ruined the intro? Hello. I'll take all your wine. 744. Same rules as before. Ah. Toilet paper destruction. It's just part of the story. So the ability to grab a bunch of goods... Oops. Nope. Okay. I see where you are, Prop Hunt, by the way. Let's go find the quick save button. 
Quick loot. Nope. Ah, all these quick numbers. It's not the quick I'm looking for. Wait, is there not a quick save? Or did I go past it? Objectives. Scanner lock. And there's a lot of buttons, actually. Audio logs or L. Yeah, I'll remember that. Sure. Sneak is C. How is there no mention of a quick save? Really? Quick save? So do I have, to, I have to manually open a menu to quick save, not F5? F5 is quick save. Okay, it just doesn't tell you that. Weird. Or I really went past it somehow. Nope. Oh, screw you. You turned into that. You come back here. I'm ending you. I think. That's really creepy. Yep. Nope. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm more badass than Bellamy, apparently. Okay. Concerning. Typhon organ mimic tumor. Necropsy required. You need a skill to take it off. And I can't pick up the corpse to carry it around either. Well, that was creepy. Get ready to be constantly nervous that anything around us could be alive. Great, thanks. That's really creepy. How did I get to the... How did I get to the, uh... The helicopter before? I didn't walk through here, did I? This obviously fake studio room? Those are not encouraging sounds. So here's our. F this is the helicopter. Uh, this is the helicopter room. Concerning. You're getting the. You're gonna hear the crappy garbled version of what's supposed to play back during those moments. So these. We're all screens that would pretend to be the room. They'd pretend to be the uh, the, heli the helipad. I probably went out the door and then came in the same door as this thing just weaved around to pretend it was flying around. So it probably just pretended to fly around while a simulation played, and then it would go right back to the same helipad because it wasn't actually moving. Then go back into the same facility, into my testing chamber. Close-up canisters. At least they're nice and labeled it like that. But it just takes one good hit to go through a window. What's going on there? Something's going up and down. not to take the scenic group. Oh man. Are we getting into some clockwork mansion? I feel like we're gonna find out the clockwork mansion from Dishonored 2 was them like practicing for this or something, judging by what we're looking at here. Seems like that was the idea. So here's the elevator. I get on this elevator and come out here and you get to the testing facility. Alright. Time to just get used to being nervous constantly. Med kit, I'll have it. The hell? Look at that. That's not a great sign. Okay, we've reset the room so it's not constantly thundering and freaking out. Nothing else. 
Hey, I'll take it. Spare parts. Neat. Let's check their records. Uh, same thing about thing, same, same thing as as before about earlier this day, because uh, something sent to everybody. So you can make it the rooftop entrance to the testing facility. So this is the testing facility. It's awful loud for something that's supposed to be kept a secret from me. I guess that's why they put me in the elevator. If they put me in the elevator, I can't hear. Oh, but now I can't see what's behind the wall. So whatever's behind the wall must look like the rooftop entrance right now. Let's see. If I'm really fast, I can go in and out, I think. So, rooftop entrance. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see if we recognize this place. Oh my god. It's exactly what I thought. <laughs> I love that that came to mind and it became the reality. I was like, like, after, I, like you go in an elevator and the game is probably just deleting the, the floor you're on and loading in the next floor. And literally this place loads in the other floor when you're inside this room. You come off the, you, you come off the, uh, helicopter. Walk in here, go in the elevator, and the elevator just sits here. While the room outside becomes a different floor. While this thing's just all like, Haha, look, you're changing floors, isn't it convincing? What a trip. This is neat. Here's the crappy display that breaks. Now it's super broken. Take that display. Broken. Take that science journal. Testing room's door seems busted. Let's see the nasty room that clearly has a monster in it. Yep. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. How we doing, mimic? So it's in the room I was in before. The testing chambers. What the, what what purpose do these tests serve? I'm just so curious what this test was meant to do besides teach me controls, I suppose. So this is where I was and everything went to crap. They gassed me in here like a bunch of pricks. Like the whole butterfly effect, the uh, ink, the ink, ink blot thing isn't going anywhere. Transcribe, Marco Simmons. Alex, Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Oops. That goes into audio logs now. There we go. Clean it up. We have a research tab, just like in System Shock. Emails. Everything's pretty true to what we've seen before, basically. So we're trying to get to the lobby. I have a wrench. Not armed with much here. I'll keep grabbing what I can along the way. Not getting through there. Science operator. It's got a psi hypo. Wow. Just a straight up psi hypo, huh? That removes some ambiguity about whether or not the, uh, the, uh, analog is intentional and it's just gonna straight up have the same items from the last game. System shock, I mean. Note about this morning, that's the old one. Morgan's behavior from Sylvian Bell Bell uh, Bellamy to Zhao Long Heng. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we... Nor do we, granted. Morgan has forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria is, it was clearly a departure. 
My recommendation is we need to start uh, charting personality drift before future tests. In debriefings and with the, within the test itself, Bellamy. Why am I volunteering for a test that seems to basically involve the threat of changing my personality? That's concerning. <laughs> Lobby, skill recorder, control room. Take a look down there. I have the briefest fear that I may have skipped something, so at the risk of wasting all of our time, I'm going to take a quick look back at something. Because when I went towards storage, I was like, oh, this will be a dead end, right? And it was immediately not. Poke back around a little bit. So this is the, uh, this is the elevator I take to get to... I take this elevator to get onto the, the, uh, the helicopter from Echelon Residential Tower. We just walk across the same room. So this is the route I took originally. This is the rotated field. And the, my fake elevator. Take a look at this, my floor. Some of this stuff's definitely broken, and not going back the way it's supposed to. Look at that! There's my roof. There's my- so in there is my floor where my apartment is. You can see stuff rotating about. This is interesting. There's so many little moving parts that make this whole thing just neat. This is this a secret door into my room? Yes it is. Well, that's creepy. You've accomplished the creepy. That's a heavy-ass purse. Seriously. Everything else is so much more throwable than the purse is. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything around here. Because I only went one way. Huh? The Hephaestus Heffy twist and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Swing with left mouse, uh, press and hold to charge your attack. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Yeah. That's a charge attack, I suppose. Okay, so this is where we broke through in the first place. I chose to go left instead of right, but led the same place ultimately. I was just worried I missed stuff around here, going right. A little creepy chair, is this where they run tests on me? between our days. The safe code is... unknown. Non-local, semi-superluminal. Issues with my brain, I would assume. Delivery for debrief. Marco Simmons. Delivered to Marco Simmons from Fabrication Depot, a department. Uh, marking this entire SKU as defective. Investigate with fabrication. Are you talking about the, th the thing I was supposed to take that day? But here's the safe. I do not have the code for it. Hi, camera. Creepy how you're always watching me, but maybe it's automated and it's just tracking motion as opposed to being someone who's actually act act actively watching me creepily. I ICOP0876. So I'm getting to Simmons' computer. I don't trust coffee cups now. Or TVs. The not about this morning we've seen before. Reminder about company. From Danielle Show to Marco Simmons. Copy to Sylvia Sylvain Bellamy. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection. Do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported. So, this is the usual joke when you play, uh... 
I think it might have come up once during a Dishonored game, but it definitely came up during Deus Ex. It's just this game, no, the idea that the game is going to be about a large portion of like finding passwords and codes that are written down or hit stored somewhere and then using them to open something. But then there's a, there's a joke email that's all like, don't fucking write down your passwords. Come on, guys. Bad install from Alex U to Marco Simmons. Simmons, the test results today are all negative. Did you install the correct Nero mods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what, what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority, Alex. So it seems like maybe they went wrong with what they installed on me this given day when everything kind of went wrong. What if this is all a ruse, though? What if this whole thing where everything's going crazy and this whole scenario is just more fakeness to add to the fakeness? So I believe I don't have a code for you, right? Trying to see if I can make it out. I would say 4153, maybe 4158. Let's try it, if I can. 4153. Four, one, five, eight. Nope. Four, one, six, eight. Yeah, I don't know about that. Nine? That's almost certainly a five. One, five, nine. That first one, though, that's hard. Five one five nine. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, let's. I think I'm gonna have to wait for when I actually find the actual combination somewhere around here. Uh, but what if it is like agonizingly just written down somewhere? What I could discover if I was just like slightly more thorough. I wonder if there's a clue here. This thing's four reels long. I would almost wonder if the four reels indicate anything. Now, I'm not seeing a lot of reason... ...to expect to find the actual answer here. It's not on your diploma, is it? Four digit number? Nope. Let's poke around more. Hello, entirely fake. Look at that. It's got the drag axes for moving the uh, stuff around. It's pretty funny. Just the low level of artificiality here. Alright, so at the moment, I don't think I have the means to find the password to that computer, or that safe. Let's continue on for now, but maybe I'll have a chance to come back. Let's see. Tab, Shift, M, Escape. I. So, so far, I don't think there's a map in this game. Maybe under data? This password. Deliver for debrief. That's not a code. Yeah, nothing in this thing seems to indicate there's a map anywhere. We'll see if I unlock one at some point, but for now, I don't think it exists. I'll take the goddamn Scenic Rude game, you can't stop me. I'll take the Scenic Rude every day. I will poke around this game in the slowest possible manner and find everything I can. <laughs> Alright, so this is the... The skill recorder is interesting. That must be... Uh, probably has something to do with my progression. Maybe. Seeing cameras down there, I don't really see anything moving right now. Now, oh, so now we're above my room. Anything to be accessed over here? At the moment, it would not seem like it. It mostly seems like I have a chance of falling down, and that's about it. Control room. Decontamination in front of an exit, too. 
Oh, something's gonna happen when I go in there. Let's check out this one, the control room. Ah! Ah! More than one of you. Are you dead? It's like horror prop hunt. The game is like built to be some kind of horror. Like it's 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 like it's built to be a uh, one giant jump scare almost. Hello. Well, I want all that. Thank you. Can the, I wonder if those resources can be a monster too? What would I expect? Everything's everything's looking very analog in here. Look at this stuff. Very chunky. Like old sci- like old ideas of sci-fi. Reset the simulation. You can change it between the two roofs. There's the echelon roof. There it goes. Oh god. I didn't mean to jump through the window. So this is what- so this is what we were seeing when I first got uh, in here. But now I've punched holes in the window so you can tell they're fake. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Whoops. I might not understand. Oh, this got so much trippier the moment I did that. That's a trip. I fell through the- I fell through the window up there. Unfortunately, I fell down and I have to find my way back now. Uh... I guess I gotta go through the echelon door? But I need to learn a few different variations of how to get around inside this house, basically. Because as, as I change the configuration, things are gonna work differently. So right now, I've deleted the main entrance to the room I'm trying to get to. So I need to try a different approach to get in. Are those fake pizzas always there? And how am I gonna get back in? I'm in here. You're stuck. I need to find a way to get behind... Oh, wow. With this environment changing, it's getting weird. I need to find a way to get back into the... Whatever the business is called that I work for. As opposed to, ech as opposed to Echelon. Its door was over there. So let's try going... Can I go through this somewhere? Have I kind of... Have I, did I kind of trap myself by falling down like that? There we go. There's Transtar. I was like, I have to beat my way through back into this room because I, uh, I straight up like locked myself out by falling into the simulation after I deleted the door, basically. Which is a weird sentence to say. I'm probably going so slow compared to how some people want me to go, but this is really amusing to me. It's just poking around this place. And it's weird inner workings. That is a neat trick. That's fun. Oh, hi, corpse. You also have wrench. I'm sorry. So I got a few things I can use. Otherwise, we're ready to go. Fought a few monsters. Just try to be careful. Let's try decontamination. 